Uh, today was all about cleaning. <laughs> it's like my life every day. <laughs> but because we were always busy, we were able to end the day without many troubles. And we were somehow able to figure out everyone's names. That was lucky. Or is it? Things seem a little too convenient in this world. Oh, also, before I forget, uh, after I played through the first couple of days, I wanted to take a trip down memory lane uh, with Ukio. So I went back to like Shin's bad ending where we first uh, saw him murder us and stuff, and then I went through Iki's, and in Iki's route, when we first met him, that boom boom sound was in one scene with him. And then when I was watching with Kent, we, I forgot that we called him the Reaper Man. And he's like, well, you're not far wrong from that. And then we found out that he's died many times. So now I've, I'm still, like, majorly confused. I don't know what that boom boom sound is, though, and what the connection is with that. But anyway, I thought that was an interesting thing, because I had completely forgotten about it. Oh, Ukiyo. What does your world have in store for me, I wonder? So the message you had on your phone was a message from your co-worker. Then that means the only person that we still don't know is Rika. I wonder who she is. A friend from college? Man, it would have been amazing if Rika was working at Made on Hitsuchi. <laughs> Just because. Judging by her name, it's definitely a girl. I wonder if we'll meet her someday. I'd be okay with not. Uh, all the males in your contacts we met, but that nonsensical guy from yesterday wasn't in your contacts. We still don't know who he is or what his name is. Oh well. <laughs> it seems like your amnesia secret could be in good hands with your co-workers, but it still feels a little early. If you're close to everyone, it's actually harder to figure out whether you can trust them or not. You have work tomorrow, so we'll keep scoping things out for a while. Nice work today! Thanks, Orion. <laughs> oh, Sawa. You just never get the hang of this ma this whole maid thing, do you? <laughs> Poor Sawa. August 3rd. Hey. Morning. You're up early. I wonder if you've always been a morning person. What do you think? I guess in this world. Those kinds of memories don't seem to have returned to you at, don't seem to haven't returned to you at all or something. Sorry, it's all my fault. I wanna hurry and return you back to normal. Uh, but seriously, I wonder why I was drawn to you. Orion, stop messing with my brain! I can't. It's too early in the morning for the sweet bug. Sweet bug. I've been wondering that too. <sighs> Did I die? Did, did rosy cheeks die and because she was kind of part spirit and your spirit and then I don't know we got all morphed together I don't know sweet bug you gotta explain it to me later I have never been absorbed by another being when I jumped between worlds before are we both in the process of world jumping <laughs> ah okay enough theorizing just get answers that absorption power was really intense oh couldn't think of it. I'm still with you, huh? Oh no. You woke up so early, but I'm just here taking my sweet time. That's not good. You have work today, so let's do our best. So we'll do the same as yesterday. We can focus on talking to as many people as possible and obtain some new information. It would be nice if we could find at least one person you could talk to about what's going on. Ukiyo. It's gotta be Ukiyo. Or maybe it's Rika. <laughs> Good morning. Sorry for having you helping me clean yesterday. We will have a worker come and fix things in the near future. But since the kitchen is fine today, we'll... Sorry I'm late. I thought I was early, but maybe my watch is behind. Oh no, you're fine. This isn't the morning meeting. We were just chatting. But since Iki has arrived, why don't we open early today? I want you two to be out on the floor for this shift. Good luck. Hey. What? Two? No one else is coming today? Ah, this brings back memories. Come to think of it, they were talking about a monthly something yesterday. 
So does that mean everyone works together only once a month? Ugh, this is gonna be a lot of work. Oh, hi. Anyways, I guess it's time for me to officially say good morning to you, Rosy Cheeks. The manager will be in the kitchen today, so I'm looking forward to working with you. Oh, thank you. Man, we should have looked into more things yesterday, huh? <laughs> But, Orion, don't you see that this is perfect? Because now we get to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one and find out who we're closest to, because we don't know who it could be. Uh? Huh? Uh? Huh? What's the matter? You're not looking away today. What? I always thought it didn't work as well on you, but this is the first time someone has ever looked me directly in the eye. <laughs> How vexing. I wonder what the difference is between it working and not working. <laughs> Your eyes always have this power, huh? Interesting. That's another constant between worlds. Hey, did something happen to you? <gasps> Gasp! Yesterday, Shin seemed to be really worried about you. You do seem a bit off. Well, as long as you aren't running away, I guess I can appreciate that. Uh-huh. I know. We might as well try dating now. What do you think? Oh, Iki. You always have my heart. What? Hmm. Well, that sounds rather rude, doesn't it? That I'm asking you out just because you're a rare case. Uh, we did find love once in another place. Sorry. Forget what I just said. You can be my first female friend. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Iki, you're being so incredibly awkward right now. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, let's get to work. I'll go open the front door. Orion. Uh, what was that about? <laughs> He's got a condition from your Lord Magnus, what's his name? I think is what his name was. <sighs> okay. We're gonna be friends with Iki. I'm okay with that still. He's an awesome guy. He was talking about something not working. Running away or not running away. Hmm. Judging from the flow of the conversation... <laughs> for some reason, you often avoid him. And he's happy now that you're being friendly with him, so please don't change your attitude? <laughs> I guess? <laughs> He doesn't seem to be a bad person, but Iki strikes me as quite a character. Mm-hmm. He might not be the best candidate to go to for serious advice, though. Oh, our opening. Welcome home, Master. Home? Oh, our first customer. Oh, crap! Can you go serve the customer? We were able to look through the manual yesterday. I'll help you too, so let's do our best! Oh, Ryan, I love that you always help me. Thank you. 30 minutes later. Only 30 minutes. What happened? Was that much of a disaster? Oh. Phew, I'm beat. But so far we haven't made any mistakes! At this rate, maybe we can survive the day without any problems. How is everything? Today seems to be a rather busy day, but are you two doing alright? Oh hey, it's the manager! We're fine. No issues for either of us. I see, I'm glad. Rosie Cheek seemed to be acting a bit unlike herself today, so I was a little concerned at first. Dang, I guess you seem different even to the manager. That is true. She may seem a little too quiet today, but I don't see that there's anything particularly... Oops, I have to go. <laughs> Welcome home, Master. Is the seat alright with you? It's still morning, but we do have a lot of customers today. I apologize for interrupting you. Please return to work. Oh, good grief. Another customer? There really has been an increase of customers beginning August. It's because it's, it's cold and everyone wants, like, hot drinks. Hope that's it. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I finally get to serve you! Maybe? Oh! Isn't that the guy you bumped into in front of the university? Welcome home, Master. I will escort you to your seat. Please, come this way. Is the seat okay with you? 
That's fine. Thank you. W what should we do? Uh, should we say hi or something? Uh, oh, uh, he'll come say hi to us, apparently. Hello, Rosy Cheeks. I haven't seen you since the other day. I'm glad to see you're looking good. Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, he just left! That was it! He just wanted to come and say, Looking good, babe. Wink. Bye. He seemed to be a bit aloof. Maybe he was being considerate since we're in the middle of work? I wish I could just get his name, but... Oh, we can't help it. Let's go to the back. <laughs> that was so weird. Oh, Ukio. Hey, the manager is back. Mm. Hmm. Manager, I finished ringing up table four. Mm. What's the matter? Nothing. It's nothing big. I feel like I've met that customer somewhere before. I was just curious. What? Really? The manager knows him? Oh, really? You know him? No, I don't know him like that. I just feel like I've seen him before. Hmm, I wonder who he is. It's on the tip of my tongue, but... Come on, manager! Remember! We're counting on you! Maybe he's a celebrity or something along those lines. Perhaps you saw him on TV or in a magazine or something. Magazine... Ooh! I think it's somewhere around here. Ah, here it is. This is... a design-related magazine? That's right. I sort of buy different magazines as a hobby, but, uh... Well, it's around, uh, somewhere around here. Yes? A design magazine? Found it. This page. Ugh. Oh, that man is on it! He's a model? Well, his hair is fabulous. Oh, he's a photographer! I would never have got that. <laughs> okay. An interview with the up-and-coming photographer, Ukio. Hmm. Ah, so he's a photographer. Photographer Ukio? So now we know his occupation and his name! But I still don't know how he's associated with you. I wonder what the connection between an up-and-coming photographer and a college girl is. <laughs> that sounds... terrible. <laughs> Every possibility that's coming to my mind just doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe you were like... his model once? Or something? But glad we figured out who he is. Now we know. He mainly does scenic photography, but his aesthetic style is truly gorgeous. Okay. So he doesn't do people pictures. I feel better now that I've remembered. Let's return to work. Okay. One hour later. And the stay is dragging. We got the menu down! All the different types of coffee and tea! Attending to the customers is mostly okay! This morning I didn't know what we were gonna do, but now we're dealing with it fine. And there's work tomorrow too, so we need to get completely used to this. We're working again tomorrow? Sorry, the customers at table 8 just left, so do you think you can clear the table? The kitchen is backed up, sorry. That's okay. Table 8. Oh! Table 8 is Ukio's table. I see. He went home. I thought he left right after we said hi. Or oh, did he just leave to go sit down? He's just like, hey, and then I'm gonna go back and sit down. We couldn't get any information out of him. I guess we should feel upset in this situation, but... Hmm. Seems like we don't need to force ourselves to talk to him, that's for sure. You and Ukyo may not have been that close. We probably can find someone we can trust here at work. Yeah. So for now, let's just figure out the relationships you have with the people at work. That said, let's bust the heck out of that table. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. You and me. Bust the heck. Table won't know, won't even see it coming. Ah. 
Good work today! You too, sweet bug. Um... Hello? <laughs> Man, I'm tired. Are you alright? Customer service sure is hard. There was a non-stop stream of customers, so that made it even harder. But I think I was able to figure out the personalities of both the manager and Iki. Neither seem to have much ill intent towards you. The rest I know is a bit challenging, but we're going to have to talk with the others and figure things out from there. Let's go home for the day. We might be able to make it back before it gets dark. I always get nervous now walking home alone in the evening. You never know who you're gonna run into. Uh huh? Uh, where are we? Uh, did you take a wrong turn somewhere? Oh, rosy cheeks. <laughs> uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention either. What should we do? I'm sure we're in the same city, so why don't we ask random passerby for help? Watch out? Ukio, maybe? Watch out! Huh? Oh gosh! Whoa! That car came out of nowhere! Whoa! It was you! I was totally joking. I thought it was gonna be like Shin or something. But I'm like, well, it's Ukio's world, so maybe he'll save us. But you actually saved us! You didn't push us in front of a car! You saved us from getting run over from a car! Holy cow! We are in your world. That is so weird. I'm... This is weird. It's weird to freak out about somebody saving you instead of murdering you. It's like, who are you? I don't even know who you are anymore. Phew. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Oh! Weird guy! I mean, the fortune teller! I, I mean, Ukio! <laughs> that was a close one. I wonder if the driver was looking down at his phone or something. Were you surprised? You seem pretty stunned still. Oh. Uh, say thank you. Ukyo saved you, so you have to thank him for that. That was a pretty close call. I do feel like it was a close one for Ukyo, too. Well, yeah, thank you very much, but... This isn't your typical guy route. It is, like, you know, if it was one of the other guys who's not world jumping like Ukio is, I, of course I would have just said thank you very much. But it's Ukio. Why are you not killing me? Why did you save me? Why? That's hard to explain. Uh, do you need a reason to help someone? And besides... Besides what? Uh, nothing. I'm really glad you're safe. Is your wish grant fulfilled now? You saved me. Seems like you're not particularly hurt, but if you did get hit, the delayed reaction might get it to start hurting later on, so be careful. You live alone, right? If any injuries start to bother you tonight, be sure to contact someone. Huh? How does Ukyo know that you live alone? You keep surprising us. I thought you and Ukyo didn't know each other that well, but it seems like you guys talked before. If you feel strange later, be sure to call the ambulance or a friend, and go to the hospital, okay? Don't hold it in or overexert yourself. Do you have any friends that can come by right away? Uh... I don't know. I don't know in this world. I mean, Sawa, probably? Should I say no? He he wouldn't put himself near her. He's like he still he doesn't trust himself around her yet. I'll say yes so he doesn't worry about us. I'm pretty sure I could call Saw when she would come. I see. Then if something happens, be sure to contact that person. Don't underestimate how you're feeling, got it? Hmm. I do feel like he worries too much, but Ukyo seems like a good guy. He's really nice. But I still can't quite figure out the nature of your relationship with Ukyo just yet. I wonder... Was he an old classmate of yours? 
or a very distant relative or something? Come to think of it, when we first met, I came to your rescue too. Well, I guess I didn't really rescue you, per se. Do you remember that time? What? <laughs> hey, don't just suddenly ask us major questions like that! I remember... Um... Well, you've never saved us in any other world, so... <laughs> I'm assuming it happened in this world. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I see. That's unfortunate, but I guess I can't help it. Don't worry about it. You should have remembered, but maybe it's a side effect of... or something. Side effect of what? Side effect of what, mad scientist Ukiyo? What? Wait, what? What did he just say? I couldn't hear. Anyways, I'll be on my way. Be careful on your way home. Be sure not to get in another accident. <laughs> Bye. But, but... Come back here, you beautiful man. Oh, he's going home, huh? If he's so worried, why doesn't he just walk you home? Well, if he did, that'd be another problem. I wouldn't know what to talk to him about. Uh, but I felt like we could have asked him a few more questions. Well, that's too bad. Hey, wait! We're lost! Hey, Ukiyo! Can you take us home? <laughs> Hold up! Did he take us home? Nope. <laughs> I guess we just found our way eventually. Oy. I'm tired. I'm so glad we got home safe. But thanks to getting lost, we were able to figure out the city. I guess that was a blessing in disguise. But man, today was a close call. Not about secretly gathering information. I'm talking about the accident. If Ukio didn't save you, I think the car would have hit you full on. I'm surprised that Ukio happened to be there at that moment. Ugh. I wonder if he lives around here. If that's the case, that made more sense. That was bizarre, though. To be saved by the guy who's killed you multiple times. And we met... He rescued us when we first met. Hmm. That was a long day. Now it's August 4th. Hey, sweetie. Ah, uh, what's our parameters like? It's gonna be hard to build affection and trust with this guy. Ugh. It's morning. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I couldn't sleep well because I was tossing and turning all night, so I'm super tired. Aw, poor Orion. Honestly, I suck at waking up early and sleeping early. <laughs> well, Orion, you and I have that in common. Since my master isn't around much, I used to have a lot more free time than the other spirits. Oh, when I say my master, I mean the one who made me. I guess he's a god. He hasn't come back in a while. I wonder where he went. Lord Nil. Where did I get Lord Magnus from? <laughs> Nil. Jeez, he really has to stop wandering around so much. No. Ugh, I guess I shouldn't be ventri venting to you about these problems. But you're doing it for a purpose. What does your Lord Nil have to do with everything that's going on, sir? Let's get ready and head to work. Ryan, please talk to me more about this. Who am I working with today? Oh. What is that noise? Ooh, maybe we got here too early. But it's kind of nice to have a lot of time to just settle in. What was that now? I wonder what this sound is. I've been hearing water. I wonder if someone left the water on. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Good morning, rosy cheeks. Huh? Hmm. He seems a bit bummed out, don't you think? Oh right, he's gonna get a worker in today to look at the water. I have bad news. Unfortunately, we'll have to close the cafe for today. What? Why? The water leaked from the other day. It seems like a water pipe burst. After I fixed the kitchen yesterday, the water had nowhere else to go and spilled out all over the floor. What? Currently, the flood is above floor level. At the 20 centimeter mark. 
It is only getting higher. <laughs> oh my goodness, Waka. Higher. So with that said, I have called in professionals to repair the water pipe and begin cleaning up the mess. I feel bad since you've come all the way here, but that's our situation at the moment, so please go home for today. I must contact Sawa. She might already be on her way. For times like these, am I supposed to call the fire department? Or city hall? <laughs> Aww. I wouldn't think it's the fire department. Wait, is it? If it's 20 centimeters deep, it's like a mini pool. I wonder if we can open up tomorrow. That's a lot of water. Man, now we don't have anything to do. <laughs> what should we do today? Do you want to walk around? Not too far, just in the area. Huh? Huh? Ah! Huh? Huh? What are you doing here? I thought it would be Sawa coming into work. Hello, we meet again. Oh, it's Ukio. What a coincidence! Wait. Actually, he probably just came by to visit the cafe again. Are you on your way to work? Oh, there seems to be a poster on your door. Due to a flood, we will be closed today. Huh? Flood? Oh, that's right. The water pipes broke, huh? Have you time-traveled as well? Like, back to the 1st of August, and you're like, Ah, oh, yes, I remember now. Wait, how did he know all that just by looking at this sign? He's pretty sharp, this one. Well, I guess I can't visit today. I suppose I can come another day. So anyways... Were you alright yesterday after we split? Um... Yeah? I'm gonna save. <laughs> I wanna get as much info out of this guy as possible. Were you alright, Ukio? I mean, did, like, he might have got hit by the car more so than we were. Me? I'm fine. As you can see, no scars at all. Thank you for your concern. I'm pretty happy. It's been a while since someone's worried over me. Aw, Ukio! Well, I've confirmed that you're safe, so I guess I can buy lunch somewhere and go home. You're about to go back too, right? Man, you come all the way to work to find out the cafe was closed. That must be rough. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, he's going home. What should we do? Stop him? Invite him over to your place? <laughs> Seriously? Can we do that? Can, can, can. Uh, uh, uh. This is so weird. We have like these, this like, we're acquaintances? Uh, Conversa you know, conversations going on right now. And then I'm just gonna be like, would you like to come over for lunch? <laughs> I guess I can ask. Would you like to come over? Hmm. Thank you. Your invitation makes me really happy. But I... I... Sorry. Never mind. Huh. I'm hopeless. When you're in front of me, I can't help but almost say things that I shouldn't. I guess I have my guard down around you. This isn't good. No, please! Have your guard down! I can walk you near your place. Up to the incline in the road. He, uh, he gave himself a little bit. He's like, I'm not gonna go in with you, but I'll walk you a little bit. Don't you think it looks like the place where we first met? You know. The incline that leads to the museum. Museum? It seems like you may have forgotten. You see, we met in Kobe in March. I was still a new photographer, and you had just graduated from high school. You came to visit Kobe on your graduation trip and got lost. I happened to bump into you then and showed you the way back. Ah, oh, you rescued me. Uh, that was when you and I first met. We reunited four days ago. I started a summer job at a publishing house here, so I moved from Kobe to the city. And I bumped into you by chance in front of that university. Going into the cafe where you worked was a coincidence, too. Coincidence, you say? I don't believe in coincidences with you. 
I didn't know any places around here, so I walked in the first one I saw, and you happened to be working there. We met by chance and reunited by chance. That has been the history between you and me. <laughs> the thank you for that helpful explanation. You seem like you don't remember. I didn't think you'd forget. So this happened because of rewinding. Have you only forgotten about me, or... Rewinding? Re what? You rewound? Time traveler? Time traveler, world jumper, Ukiyo? That's how you know things about what's going on here. Hmm. So you can rewind time. Huh? Wait, what did you just... Watch out! What now? Holy cow! Was that a potted plant just now? Where did it come from? Potted plant? Potted plant? Ukiyo. Are you alright? Are you hurt? I'm fine. Are you okay, Ukiyo? Forget about me. I wouldn't die from something like this. But I worry about you. If this heavy plant fell on your head, you would have been in real trouble. I'm so glad you're safe. But this is... Uh, I'm sorry, but do you think you can take off from work tomorrow? I want you to come with me. Do you think you can? What? What is he talking about? This long-haired man. He's making absolutely no sense! <laughs> well, even so... Considering the state of the cafe, I'm sure you wouldn't have work anyways, but... What do you think? The way he reacted was like, that plant wasn't supposed to fall. <laughs> like, I've done this many times, and that plant has never fallen. <laughs> this might be a terrible idea. But I gotta, I gotta know what you got in store for me, exactly. Sure. Count me in. Thank you. Sorry for inviting you out so suddenly. There's something I want to confirm. If you don't mind. Tomorrow. Let's say around 1pm, I'll come by and pick you up. Anyways, my place is that way, so I'll see you tomorrow. Be careful on your way home. <laughs> uh, I wonder what he wants to check. I guess we don't have to worry about Ukyo figuring out that you have amnesia or anything, but... It seems like he's just saying random things and randomly being satisfied. <laughs> he's hard to figure out. I can't explain it, but he has this really odd vibe about him. Forget about the amnesia, or whether we can trust him or not. I'm curious about what's going on in his mind. You and me both, Orion. Well, we're going to see him tomorrow, so let's try talking to him a little more. I guess that's our plan now. <sighs> so he saved us twice. Home sweet home! Oh. Hmm? Do you hear that? Oh, your cell! Sawa, no work tomorrow. The manager just called me. Apparently the cafe flooded, so we'll be closed tomorrow. It'll open up again the day after. What do you think he meant by flooded? At least 20 centimeters, Sawa. At least 20 centimeters. Uh, thought so. It says the cafe will reopen the day after tomorrow, but I wonder if everything can be repaired by then. Well, let's find out what Ukiyo wants to check. Hmm. 